What's up guys, it's your boys and we'll get back with another scary, paranormal, all around creepy content video. And today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the pretty much everything that's been caught on MindCTV for the scariest paranormal moments caught on camera for 2021. I recently got into Mind see tv not too far back i think it was like when in june i not even that i think it was july i started uh getting into my nc tv i found their first video and i got hooked and we're gonna be taking a look at all the stuff scary paranormal that we're gonna be taking a look at on their channel right here right now with my reaction on scare with Sawoki. so grab a chair grab some popcorn it was to take a look at my nc tv scariest paranormal moments caught on camera 2021 Take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to it. So I do post videos like this one. You're going to get that little ring notification that Smokey we'll myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I say this on every video, but thank you so much for the support. We're still growing at a rapid pace. I can't thank you guys enough. Legends all around. I can't. I have no words. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Telling your friends, telling your family, telling you guys, anybody you guys know. And with that being said, again, thank you so much. Keep doing what you guys are doing. The comments, the likes, the subscribes, the, the everything. I, and again, thank you so very much. But we're here for scary content and hopefully not mess our trousers and cause them to go from red, or not red, <laughs> white to brown. So make sure you guys... Uh, have an extra bucket nearby so if you guys do get scared you guys can either put on a new Disney movie or go inside that bucket but with that being said go over to my Seeds TV and also give them some love for putting this compilation together for us for of the most shocking encounters that they have witnessed for 2021 and with that being said let's take a look at what my Seed TV has for us on this compilation for 2021 In season three of Hunting Purgatory, the crew has captured many terrifying and unexplainable events on camera. Oh, I remember that one. We will be taking a look at the most shocking and downright horrifying moments that would be hard to believe if they weren't recorded. So sit back, turn off the lights, and join us as we go through the creepiest top ten countdown of terror. Yes! Ever seen. Oh, I can't wait. I love mine CTV. One of my favorites. Paranormal countdown. Number 10. Be careful what you wish for. During a lightning storm on the 13th floor of the haunted Biltmore Hotel, the team conducts a Ouija board session in attempts to communicate with the ghost of a deceased no. monster known as Fatty Walsh. While asking questions to the board, something terrifying happens. Is there any part of your energy that still resides here? Colton's nose suddenly begins to bleed. What? Your nose bleed right now. That could be just a coincidence or it's doing something. Later, while asking questions using the device known as the spirit box, balloons in the downstairs living quarters mysteriously come untied and float to the what? on their own. I've never seen balloons used as a ghost Is tool this before. A coincidence? Or did the spirit of Fatty Walsh give them what they were looking That's for? That's pretty cool. Number nine. Knock knock. Who's there? While investigating oh. the home of two deceased sisters, the unthinkable happens. During the night, while members of the team are sleeping, Colton is awoken to the sound of a phone ringing from within his room. I remember room. this one. Housekeeping! <laughs> As he wakes up to check, Tanner and Casey are woken to a knocking sound upstairs. What the f was that? I don't know if I would answer it. A phone, yes. Taco Bell? 
as Colton checks the phone. Strangely, there is no phone cable connected. It's not even plugged in, bro. I saw that the phone was unplugged. There was no telephone cord leading to it. There was no outlet that the power plug was plugged into. And then this happens. Yo, Cole. Yo, Casey. Yeah. Casey, look. Oh, the door. What the f dude? It's on a hinge. What the f dude? What would you do in this situation? I don't know. Continue filming? or run for your life. If I was alone, I'd run for my life. If I was with friends, I'd be staying there. Comment down below what you guys Number would do. Eight. Interrupted transmission. While exploring a canyon outside of Area 51, the team has to climb, jump, and squeeze through rocks to reach their destination. What? While going deeper into the caves, they begin hearing sounds as if they're being followed. There's like a big rustle. Right around the corner. Could it be an animal? Anybody there? Once they are at the bottom, they begin to run the spirit box. And then this happens. It's just static. Nothing. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, shit. Yeah, I hear it, yeah. Dude, I've never heard a fucking box make that noise. I've never heard it either. Their transmission is being interrupted by a strange squealing sound. Same shit. What and hell? suddenly, a strange light appears, shining down from above the canyon. What the fuck is that? Look at the phone. Look. Like the floor and shit. What? I have no idea. UFO? It's lighting me up. Like it's a fucking insane. All of a sudden it was gone. The light just disappeared. The speaker on the spirit box, it just cut off pretty much at that point. As they exit the caves, Casey is greeted by something in the shadows. What? Oh! oh! Something's in there, bro. That was a leg. Something just moved across right here. Oh, what? Was this an animal? If so, what kind of animal would be this deep in the canyons? Or that fast? Just maybe there was something unearthly following them after all. Hell no. <sighs> Number seven, the ungodly. The old Yorktown Hospital in Texas is known to be haunted by many visitors. While a team is investigating, they separate to run some tests and are all met with strange encounters. Present. Yeah, not now. I swear to God, I just heard laughing. Yeah? You toying with me? What the fuck? What is that? What the fuck? For reals, Casey, Colton, do not fuck with me, dude. Nobody. Hey. Oh no. Okay. This is a lot. Hey guys. Certain places warn not to use Ouija boards as the results oftentimes turn out bad. The team disregards the warning oh and decides my gosh. to use the Ouija board in the church of the hospital. My NC TV, what? To use a Ouija board in this place. 
but we want to communicate with you. Can you give us some kind of movement? These guys are insane. To put that board on a on a church, like a sacred altar like that. Yeah. Obviously it was gonna stir something up. Is the entity that moved the door in the toy room present with us now? What happens next is heart stopping. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? It done messed Something up, Jimmy! Non human begins to make a sound from behind them. I heard this extremely low, weird, like, laugh. Ew. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? The crew decides oh. enough is enough and packs up going, to man. leave the <laughs> hospital. I think I'm ready to get out of here, dude. I think I am too, honestly. I've had enough of it. Should've never done the Ouija board to get with it. Night terrors. While investigating a home believed to have oh, I remember this one. poltergeist activity, the team sets up cameras and spends the night. While sleeping, something can be seen messing with one of the investigators. This one. I can't sleep like that, but... The way that it pulls him, man. Casey has no recollection of moving at all during the night and was shocked to see the footage. Yeah. That isn't something that I would do in my sleep on my own. Uh, it's scary. It's honestly scary. When you I don't think something. anybody would do that. What would you do if you saw a video of something pulling you from your bed? Crap my night? pants? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Five, lost little girl. Oh. A haunted Airbnb named the Pink Rosebud has had reports of paranormal activity going on for quite some time. Many guests who have stayed reported seeing the spirit of a little girl. And while the team is outside filming footage of the home, they caught this. After deciding to do an investigation here, the two what? team members are interrupted several times by what sounds like laughter. Big windows, lots and lots of times. Hey, 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 hey. Big windows, lots and lots of times. Hey, 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 hey. The little girl. Then, oh, it gives me chills. Record a very strange sequence of events. Oh, gosh. Rocking? Okay. Ugh. Okay, an hour after. <sighs> I wasn't sure if I was dreaming or not. I was a little bit disoriented. Sometimes you might hear a bang and you think, was that part of my dream or was that around me right now. I've had that happen. I tried to figure out where it was coming from. I didn't know. Usually it's my kids going to the bathroom, but. Oh.
Number four, huh. cold footprints. During Christmas, a family encounters a number of strange activities within their home. When two members of the team investigate the home, they are greeted by some strange events. There it is. Oh, it's a little bit warmer in here. When we first got the email about this home, we spoke with the owner, and the owner had told us that she left with her family around Christmas time. They had so much activity going on that it was so unsettling they couldn't even be in the home. Uh, it had like over a thousand phrases, I think. Uh -huh. Door. What? Oh, I hate when they do this. <laughs> we decided this place felt like a good candidate for a blind spirit box session. And he knows how strongly I feel about doing the blind spirit box. So he went ahead and did that. And I went down in the basement asking questions on the walkie talkie. As he asks Colton questions through a walkie talkie from the basement, he is interrupted by a sound from upstairs. Is there more than one entity in this house? Stupid bear. But nothing could prepare them for what Casey is about to discover. What the fuck? Wet footprints, which appear to be following him into the basement. Say what? You coming from the bathroom by the kitchen towards the basement where I was. I would literally lose my... Find us. I mean, it's like barely visible. It's wet. fresh. Footprint. Like if you get out of the shower and you walk around the house, look at that. Number three, flashing lights. Another home plagued by paranormal activity. They have captured something moving items and trashing their home on security cameras. Again, the scary thing is that wallpaper. Sorry, not gonna lie. But whatever it is, it can't be seen. During the investigation, the team is interrupted several times by what sounds like people running around the house. That sounds like kids. That's definitely footsteps. It sounded like something rolling almost too. Running. That's creepy. It's right here. But nothing as crazy as what you were about to see. Objects thrown around the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Phantom lights flashing. Yeah, I was waiting to see a shadow. Mm -hmm. But most shocking. What? Did I see it? A figure caught in the midst of it all. I didn't see that. 
Weird. Number two. It came through the window. A woman claimed her home was being haunted by something that was leaving claw marks all around the house. She even gave the entity a name. Mm -hmm. She calls it Scratch. The team agrees to spend the night to try and contact the entity and finds a number of disturbing events. Right Scratches? There's no power outlets anywhere. There's no power on the wall. Oh, dude. Shark remains of something. Wonder if it smelled. We're here to communicate with you. Can you light this up? Oh, that's close. Can you light this up? Sense of steam. Oh, shit. Kids. Oh, fuck. Are you good? Felt like something literally just slapped the EMF detector out of my hand. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, are you good? At one point, one of their devices emits the word scratch. It's kind of chirping again, too. Oh, what is this, Rome? Scratch. Scratch. Ha! Oh. Scratch. And that's the name. I just got goosebumps. That gives me ghost bumps. When the obelisk said scratch, I felt every hair in my body stand up. Like an electrified <laughs> of contact with something else. I'm yawning but also scared later when the team is settling in for bed oh a large crash is heard on the roof above them bro it wakes them all up it literally sounded like a bomb went off When I woke up, my heart was racing, and it made me feel even more uneasy to know that the guys heard it too. It sounded almost like- They look genuinely, like, scared. When they investigate what made the noise, pure fear rushes over the team. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Right? Scratch yeah, can be heard and they notice a window suddenly opens on the roof. Hold on. What's up with that? Dude. Hey, what's Not open. Then it's open. Yeah, you heard that, right? Yeah. It's like this. Mm. It's like it went in. Hold on. What's up with that? The scariest part of all, when they check the hallway to the window, it appears as if the screen was kicked in. Oh fuck. Meaning something. Came in. Must have been coming inside rather than going out. Oh, it gives me chills. Wow, dude. Look at that. Or how about you go get a BMB somewhere else? Nope. I'm good. Number one. It's got me. The number one video on this list has been circulating top fives across the internet. Oh. The team investigates a hunting lodge where a horrible accident has occurred. That's beautiful. It seems there's not much activity crap. to investigate going on in the lodge. Everything changes as they are walking into the basement. Dude, you good? On our way down to the basement for the yes no test, I would say I tripped, but I it didn't feel like I tripped. I fell and it felt like my legs, like my lower legs Were got pulled. hooked and I, I got my feet ripped out. Hell no. Something pulled his feet out from under him. 
but as he's trying to comprehend what just happened, this happens. Dude, you good? Oh! What the fuck? Yo, yo. There is no way to describe the feeling of witnessing events like these. <laughs> But at least it was all caught on film. Where's Tanner? So next time you hear a bump in the night coming from the dark depths of your hallway, is it really your house just settling? No. Or is there something evil settling into your house? Uh. If you enjoy these scary videos, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you never miss a scare. Also, if you're interested in cool monthly giveaways and a chance to join the team on an investigation, I would love to do that. To check out their Patreon page listed in the description. See you next time Ugh. on Mindseed TV. Bravo. Lights, cameras. That was definitely really good. The last clip was definitely phenomenal. I if something pulled me like that, you couldn't you couldn't pay me to go into a house that pulled me like that. Stick a fork in me, I am done. So, I don't know what you guys think. If you guys think they were real, fake, fact, fiction, whatever have you, comment down below your guys' thoughts and opinions. I definitely look at every single comment and I take a look at everybody's uh, likes and stuff like that. So, make sure you guys are doing so um, and supporting the channel. Make sure you guys go give some love to them as well for putting this together. Definitely bravo again, MindCTV. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So, keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding out. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.